a legacy is created by people who are willing to adapt change. And until you are willing to adapt the change, until you are willing to do the things that is necessary to change the family, until you are willing to do the things that will change the dynamics of your family financially, you will watch the members of your family commit financial suicide. So I want to ask you a question. What would happen to your life if you viewed everything up until this point as a transformational part of your story? What would happen to your life if you viewed everything up until this point as a transformational part of your story? Meaning, a transformative experience that provoked transformation in the process. What happens if we go back and we look at our life, simple as this, that everything that happened to me was supposed to happen to me so I can get to this point. That's what I mean about transformative. A transformative experience provokes a transformational thought. A transformational thought must be married by an action. So what did the experience cause you to think that created an action? All right, let's go a little further. What did you go through that make you look at life different to make you realize you deserve more? And once you realize you deserve more, it made you take action. You never took action because you never truly thought that you deserved more because you only move in a direction when you feel like change is necessary. Okay, watch this. A person can be in an abusive relationship and you can tell that person all you want what love look like what love feel like but until they put in their heart that they not being loved correctly they not going to take action so that transform uh, that transformative experience that transformational experience has to create a thought process and that transformation that transformative thought process now has to cause an action that makes them say i deserve more this not love Here's the dope part about that. Once we get that experience, every day we got to fight to make sure the feelings that we felt stay in the forefront. Because if we don't, what will happen is we will normalize that experience. And once you normalize that experience, you go back to what's comfortable. Let's make it make sense a little more, Trap. Example. I know people who've gotten car accidents from drinking alcohol. That's a life-changing experience. And then after the car accident, they survive and they say, yo, I'm not drinking ever again. Until the reality of what they went through in the car accident wears off. And then after that wears off, they go back to drinking again. All right, let me go a little further. I remember when I was young, my grandmother, I messed up in school and my grandmother act like everything was cool until she caught me in a tub. And she was like, go take a bath. And I was like, okay, bet. But as a child, and I, I can't speak about no other race, but what I know is when, a, when you get in trouble and a black woman don't get mad at you, that's a problem. 
When that black mom or that black grandma don't get mad at you, I should have knew it was an issue, but I wasn't tripping. I was like, damn, she not tripping. Maybe she wants some money at bingo or something. I don't know, but I went and got in a tub. And when I went and got in a tub, I'm in that chill like, damn, she not really tripping until she coming out with the belt. And I was like, damn, I'm assed out. And she gave me an ass whooping for a lifetime. And in my mind, I was like, I'm just about to be a nun or something. I'm not doing nothing wrong ever again in my life. Till about three weeks later. When the reminder of the mistakes wore off. When I could no longer see the whaps. When the scratches had done healed and I wasn't here, didn't I tell you? I didn't hear that in my head no more. So then I reverted back to my bad ass self. So what happens when you get into an experience that is designed to change your life and it's designed to provoke thought and that thought is designed to provoke action and you take action until the experience is no longer real. Progress is impossible without change and change cannot happen without disruption. What's good, Trappers, man? It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. Right now, I wanna invite you to an amazing experience full of value. That is my community, Trappers Anonymous. It's 100% the greatest fundamental investing community on the market. Listen, your portfolio should be a masterpiece. And the only way we get you there is if we help you learn how to invest with confidence. Now listen, I get it. Like you don't know a lot about stocks or maybe you've heard people say how much money they lost in stocks, but I can guarantee you one, because they weren't in the community and two, they lacked the information. Our goal in Travels Anonymous is to help you, really to hold your hand on the journey to becoming a confident investor, learning how to navigate through the different events that the stock market goes through to take you from panic to encouragement. There's no better time than now. This is an opportunity only for those who are willing to be on the journey. So listen, man, click the link below. Come join me in Travis Anonymous, man. I will see you in one of our many classes, whether it's Moat Monday, whether it's the two hour class we do on Sunday or whether it's just a book club, everything is geared toward making you a better investor so you can triple your network and turn your last name to an asset. It's your boy, Wall Street Trapper. See you in a trap. I want us to understand that until we understand how to use money and still we go back and understand the symptoms that have caused the financial trauma, we will never get in a situation where we will be financially free, we will never become financially independent, we will never truly build wealth and we damn sure will not build in generational wealth because generational wealth starts with generational information. Until we can pass down generational information, we will only raise up kids, grandchildren, nieces and nephew that it birth and inherit financial trauma. A legacy is created by people who are willing to adapt change. And until you are willing to adapt the change, until you are willing to do the things that is necessary to change the family, until you are willing to do the things that will change the dynamics of your family financially, you will watch the members of your family commit financial suicide. Financial suicide. Financial suicide. And just remember that lack of money is not the problem, it's only a symptom. And so when you leave here tonight, I want you to ask yourself, what is at the core of the disease? What is at the core of the disruption? What is it that has truly been anchoring your family to this position for generations? And then I want you to ask yourself, how do you change? 
what's necessary? What must you endure to create change? Here's the hard part. In some cases, we are creating change for people that we may not ever even meet. I pray that God gives me enough time so I can see my daughter have kids. But that doesn't stop me from creating change so that her kids can live the life that I envision. And my goal one day is to have the big painting in my house that all my people stand up when I'm not here and say, it's because of Uncle Free, it's because of Grandpa Trap that we live the way we live. I'm gonna leave with saying this. As a parent, your job is to prepare your kids to succeed when you are no longer here. As a family member, as a person on your bloodline, your goal is to increase the value of your bloodline. And if you don't do that, I just want you to understand that you're the liability. You're the liability to your family. Not the government, not your mama, not your daddy, not the police. You're the liability because your time here on earth, you had more than enough opportunities to create change and you chose otherwise. You chose otherwise. And for that, you gotta be held responsible. So when you witness the financial suicide going on in your family, don't think you're better than them. Just know you played a role in that financial suicide.